Hey up, it's Steve from that old Yorkshire Geek. I've got some sad news this morning. Uh, actress Kirsty Alley, uh, best known for her role in Cheers, uh, but for people like me, she'll always be Savic in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. She's passed away at the age of 71. It's very sad. There we go. There she is. She was beautiful. Uh, Kirsty Alley, Emmy winning Cheers actress, dies of cancer at 71. Actress Kirsty Alley, best known for her role in the comedy series Cheers in the 1980s and 90s, has died of cancer at 71, according to a family statement. We are sad to inform you that our incredible, fierce and loving mother has passed away, her children wrote. Alley won an Emmy Award for her role as a pub manager uh, on the popular TV series. To be honest, I never got into Cheers. I saw the odd one, but I didn't uh, see a lot of it. Uh, the native of Wichita, Kansas, has also appeared in the film Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, Drop Dead Gorgeous and the Look Who's Talking series. Uh, the family statement did not specify what cancer she had, but said it was only recently discovered. She was surrounded by her closest family and fought with great strength, leaving us with a certainty of her never-ending joy of living and whatever adventures lie ahead, it continued. As iconic as she was on screen... She was even more ama- uh, she was an even more amazing mother and grandmother. They also praised her zest and passion for life, her children, grandchildren, and her many animals. Not to mention her eternal joy of creating. John Travolta, who co-starred with her uh, in the Look Who's Talking series, took to Instagram to pay his respects. Kirsty was one of the most special relationships I've ever had. I love you, Kirsty, he wrote, alongside a photo of her. I know we will see each other again. On Cheers, her beloved NBC sitcom about a bar in Boston, she played character Rebecca Howe, opposite actor Ted Danson. She appeared in 147 episodes after joining the show at the height of its popularity and continued to appear until its end in 1993. In 1993, she won a second Emmy for her uh, for Best Lead Actress, this time for a CBS TV movie called David's Mother. So there we go. But as I said... She will always be um, Lieutenant Savick to me in uh, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Uh, Robin Curtis took over in Star Trek Three and Star Trek Four, and she did an OK job, but Kirstie Alley's the real Savick for me. Uh, she played that role very well. Uh, she showed a bit of emotion in it, uh, showing us that um, Vulcans did have emotions that just suppressed them. But the backstory for that was... Savick was supposed to be originally, in the original uh, story, she was uh, half Romulan, which is why she struggled with her emotions. And she played that well, she played that really well, um, which Robin Curtis kind of didn't do. Robin Curtis just played it as a straight Vulcan. But anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, She's also, by the way, for me, the other two films I've seen her in, that she she made an impact, was a film called Deadly Pursuit, which I think in America was called Shoot to Kill with Sidney Poitier and Tom Berenger and uh, Clancy Brown and Andrew Robinson, another Star Trek uh, alumnus, Andrew Robinson, who played Garrick in Deep Space Nine. Uh, but she was in that, she played Sarah in that, uh, and that's a really good film. Uh, I think directed by, I'll have to check, uh, I think Roger Spottiswood, I think, who would go on to direct, um, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, who would go on to direct uh, a James Bond film, um, I think, um, I'm thinking of somebody else. <laughs> Credits. Uh, I'm sure he directed um, um, Tomorrow Never Dies, the James Bond film. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, he did. Tomorrow Never Dies, yes. So he went on to direct a James Bond film. Um, he did Roger Spot his wood. Uh, and another one, uh, an early uh, role for her, uh, a couple of years after Star Trek II, but she was in the film Runaway with Tom Selleck and Cynthia Rhodes and Gene Simmons of Kiss fame. Um, a film which sadly shows its age now, but in that she played the femme fatale, uh, Jackie Rogers. Um, and it does kind of show its age now. It is very 80s. Um, it's about robots. It's supposedly set in the near future. And uh, Tom Selleck is uh, a cop in the runaway division where he deals with runaway robots. And it's all a bit... Uh, it's a bit goofy, to be honest, but uh, it's a fun film. And uh, it's the only time I've heard um, Tom Selleck drop an F-bomb. But he does. But she's in that as well as um, um, the uh, femme fatale, um, 
So that's another one. So anyway, so it's very sad. Uh, rest in peace, um, Kirsty Alley, uh, and all that. Um, so I'm very sad. I'm actually a bit choked up to be honest, because I did like Kirsty Alley. Um, I know, I know she was. Um, oh, what were the um, what they call them? Tom Cruise's one, John Travolta's one. <sighs> No, L. Ron Hubbard, Scientology. She was in Scientology, wasn't she? But to won't hold that against her. <laughs> I don't know if she was, she still was in the later years. Uh, but she, anyway, she's passed away at 71. I didn't realise she was that old, to be honest. I know 71 is not really old but these days, but I didn't realise she was that... Um, she were, I didn't realise she was in the 70s. I thought she was in the 60s, to be honest. I, I thought she was a little bit older than me. You know, maybe by, you know seven or eight, nine years. But no, she was 71. Anyway, she's passed away, and I'm very sad about that. So we'll leave it there. So thank you for watching, and wherever you are in the universe, look after each other, and until next time, I'll see thee.